Hi guys, David Fine here from Keys Moz. I'm standing in front of a very mature horse flesh mahogany tree. Guys, the purpose for this video, even though this is an exotic tree, it's sitting in the middle of this big park uh, down here in South Florida. What's it got here? It's got all of these white blossoms. And what I wanted to do is I just kind of wanted to share with you a little tip if you're trying to hunt for neat insects including butterflies and moths i'll throw in their beetles flies wasps uh all kinds of things look for trees that have little white flowers when it when a tree goes into bloom and it pushes out little white flowers like this it can be a spectacular spectacular thing and i'm going to show you this tree right here one little tree i'm going to see if i can find some cool bugs on it guys like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh check out the rest of our videos as we kind of like scrub deep into the butterflies and moths of south florida and beyond so guys check out the video we're gonna go hunt for some bugs up in a tree full of little white flowers check it out all right first of all let's talk about pollinators how can you do anything about pollination without talking about the honeybee? Uh, guys, this little bee right here is going to town and that is evidence of the significance of the pollen on this tree and the, the nectar here. Guys, I, I was literally driving by and saw a whole bunch of little blues and stuff floating around the top of this tree. So I pulled over and I'm gonna try and do a little video on it. Like there, there's blues here. This is a horse flesh mahogany tree. It is the host plant for the exotic and newly discovered butterfly, pink spot sulfur. And I would imagine that this, that with all this new growth, if I sit here long enough, I would find a female pink spot sulfur float by and start laying eggs. But I don't see any sulfurs right now. But what I do see are a lot of bugs. Let me show you some cool bugs on the horse flesh mahogany tree. All right, first of all, there's one that I'm not a super fan of. It's this little weevil. Not a super fan of that guy because he eats up everything and is super annoying. So I'm not gonna even spend much time on him. But here's another bug. Check out these thorns on this tree here. Oh, wait a minute, not thorns. They're thorn bugs. <laughs> Aren't they cool? Uh, with my smaller tree that I have in my front yard, these things are actually, can actually be quite a pest. Uh, if enough of them get on your tree, they can suck the life out of it, literally. Uh, so, but it is a true bug and they do mimic thorns. They do fly, believe it or not. They've got wings and if I pester them long enough, they fly away. Look at that. He's like, he really, okay, he flew away. All right, so they do fly. All right, guys, let's see if we can see any butterflies on this thing. All right. Floating around. Uh, this is not easy. At all. We've got a lot of blooms here, guys. A lot of blooms on the horse flesh mahogany. see look at all the new growth up there all those little reddish leaves that's all new growth that's all food for sulfur caterpillars all this stuff right here i'm surprised actually that i don't see any flying around um there are a number of butterfly and moth species that there are a number of, of butterfly and moth species that actually eat the developing seeds and flowers of legumous trees like this. Uh, Tomolus asia, the little tiny mini streak down here. Uh, Chlorostrymon mycetes is known to eat uh, a similar tree, the blooms of a similar tree. Uh, the Cassius blues, Serranus blues. There's a lot of things. Like look at all the, look at all the blooms, the little tiny buds coming into bloom here. All those are gonna open up soon and become flowers. And that is where hair streaks and blues lay eggs in this clump. 
things that eat these legumes trees lay eggs in the developing flowers right here and they will let's see if i can zoom in on that a little bit this is a developing flower it's going to open up here in the next day or so but a, a butterfly will come and lay eggs a blue or a hair streak will lay eggs right inside of that little clump right there the caterpillar will just eat the developing flowers and he'll just travel around this plant and eat to his little heart's content that's how um, a lot of those blue and hair streaks, that's where they live, the caterpillars. But I am trying to show you guys some actual adult butterflies. And it's funny because as soon as I pull up here, the butterflies all split. I don't, I, I saw a whole bunch of blues and even a couple skippers floating around up here and now I don't see them. All right, I do see a spread wing skipper. I can't tell what it is. Probably Uranus of some sort. All right, there's a, I see some blues here, guys. Uh, these are Cassius Blues, guys. Cassius Blues use, number one, they use these legumous trees for uh, larval host plants. So if I were to go and tap these flowers with a beading sheet and a stick, I probably would find uh, blue butterfly caterpillars, but I'm not going to. Um, and I, I believe they use also the, the flowers for nectar. So we've got Cassius Blues, there's our skipper, our spread wing skipper floating. He landed. Can I get a video of him? Uh, there he is. Yeah, it's Arenas Heradius, I think. He's floating around. There he is, flying, flying, flying. We've got Cassius Blues floating around up there. Now, if I can get this Cassius Blue on video. Ah, there he is. There's a Cassius Blue right there, guys, on that end of that twig. And that looks to be a male perching and waiting for females to fly by or to do battle with males' butterflies that are passing by. And that's how they roll. Uh, male butterflies will, you can see all the wasps and stuff flying by. Everything loves this tree. Uh, male butterflies will perch and just wait for females to show up and then they go and flirt. But if a male butterfly shows up, they start, they go into fight mode and they go at it. And people don't realize just how, just how much butterflies fight with each other. So that's a cool thing to see. And he's actually letting me get a video of him. He's all the way at the top of this tree, guys. Sorry, I can't get any closer, but he's literally on the top of this tree. This, he's probably, I don't know, 12 feet up, 14 maybe. And that's as close as he'll let me get. And that's a canopy bug, dude. So um, a lot of our hair streaks and blues in South Florida, they live in the canopy. And so they'll float around up there. You see a blue there flying if you can see them. Um, they live in the canopies of these trees. And so it's very difficult to see them. It's very difficult to observe uh, the butterflies. There's another blue on the end of that stick right there. That's as close as I can get unless I'm on a ladder or something to get up there. Uh, but now if we had the right flowers underneath, if we planted a garden with some flowers underneath, we might be able to draw some of the canopy butterflies down and for nectar, but that's not, that's not what the case is right here. Uh, the case is here, they have everything they need on the top of that tree. They don't need to come down. So if Chlorostrymon mycetes were up there, the amethyst hair streak, for instance, one of the United States rarest or rarely seen butterflies, it, it has everything it needs up there. There's, there's no reason to come down here. So uh, now we do have some Biden flowers down here on the bottom. Uh, those guys can be, this flower can be a good nectar source. And, um, but I just don't see anything interested in it. Number one, these Bidens are, uh, they're all in the shade, so that doesn't help. 
and it could be that our butterflies on the top there just have everything they need up there so there's no reason to come down all right guys that's a short video i wish i had more to show you um if i could get to the top of that canopy of this tree i'd probably be able to show you some up, more up close videos of some of the things that live on the top there but i don't and this was literally just i was passing by this tree in my truck and i see it and i see the butterflies flying on top but they're just they're not interested in coming down they come down come like maybe like right around here so i can actually video you uh but that didn't happen but guys horse flesh mahogany uh, an exotic tree i'm not necessarily saying to go out and plant these but uh, be aware when you see, just have your eyes tuned. If you're looking for butterflies, you're looking for cool opportunities to see new things, just look for trees with little white flowers in bloom. There's a great example. You saw all the bees and wasps and flies and all the weevils and beetles and all the stuff flying around. Even as I'm trying to show you that little butterfly on top, the blue, there's stuff flying around all over the place. And that's what happens when trees with little white flowers go into bloom most of the time. All right, so guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, I got a lot on my lineup right now. So there's a lot of things happening. This was a short, easy video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Guys, take care. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. I'm going to go look for more bugs. Bye now.